friends and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today will be faith planning for the week of the 8th through the 14th and I wasn't going to do this. Hold, you, hold on. There we go. I'm trying to get this in. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't going to faith plan today. I was just feeling a little discouraged. Um, I bought my truck about eight months ago and I thank God every day for it because um, the, when, the way I got my truck was God in the blessing business and just having a, a little teeny bit of faith. And then today we had like a flash flood warning. Y'all, I'm just going to be going as I'm talking. We had a little flash flood warning and um, I got a little bit of, I'm assuming some water damage to my car because now my check engine light is flashing. It won't pick up gas. And to be honest, you all, I just wanted to just lay down and just, just lay down. And I did earlier, but I just wanted to like lay down. I just, I, I just, I guess it kind of just saddened me and um, sort of depressed me a little bit. So I'm looking for some happy tape. <laughs> and I just, I said, I don't want to do my face plan, but you know what? I'm glad I just, I something said that's what you need to do because um, I can't afford to not necessarily get a new car, but I can't afford to put any money into a new car or getting this one fixed. So I don't know. And you know what? I'm going to tell you. It's so funny because on the way, I um, took my daughter to work. Then I was coming back to take my son to camp. I'm looking, just looking for some three of y'all. Looking for some three of some tape. And dropping my son. I dropped my son off at camp and I was headed home. I'm only five minutes from home from his camp. There was a flood. And let's see. I think something is going to brighten my day. And I saw this flood and they always tell you on the news, don't drown, turn around. So that's what I did. And I'm sitting there watching this one car just go up underwater. And in my mind, something's like, so why would you do that? <laughs> why would you just go underwater? That's crazy, girl. So I turned around, you know, and I have a truck. So I figured, you know, my truck's high enough. I can like roll over top. Well, I did. I turned around. So even though I turned around everywhere I went, to take another alternate route to my house. There was floods. So I turned around. And then this one time I turned around, there was floods. So I'm watching to see if anybody's going to get stuck. Nobody gets stuck. And so I'm like, okay, I can make it because I, you know, I have a truck. I can make it. And I do that, get on through, and, you know, heading. And then by this time I run into another flood, which I'm like, I see like two, three cars are um, stuck. So, of course, I go another way. Make a long story short, um, I look up and I see that my check engine light is on. And I'm just going to leave that like that. I see that my check engine light is on, so I'm just like, what in the world? So it's flashing. So then I noticed my car is not getting like enough gas. It's starting to sputter a little bit. So needless to say, I just said, well, let me just make it home. And I didn't think I was going to make it home, but I made it home. So then I started Googling all this stuff, you know, and, you know, thinking I got water damage to it, which kind of I did. I just... From what I'm reading, it could be a number of things. And so I didn't notice this until today. Now, I got gas yesterday. And from a place I normally don't get gas from, so I don't know if it was bad gas or whatever. Because whenever I give the car gas is when it seemed to be doing this sputtering. So, at any rate, 
So I was just so sad because, I, like I said, I've only had my car for eight months. I haven't even had it a year. So I don't know. I, I'm just sad. <laughs> Look, I'm just so sad. I like, But on the way to take my kids where they had to be this morning, uh, my daughter likes to listen to church music, gospel music. So, you know, that really puts us in a pretty good mood. And um, we were, I was telling my kids about the power of prayer. I was telling them about calling on the name of Jesus when they need him in, in any situation. And that sometimes you have to praise um, when you're going through, you just have to give total praise when you go through. And one of the songs was like, uh, praise confused the enemy. And so I asked them, did they know what that mean? And we just had a whole conversation about that. And I was like, I don't care if this whole car <laughs> turns around in the middle of this highway, we just got to call on Jesus and we got to, you know, um, you know, whatever's going wrong, you got bad grades. You just thank God, you know, for those bad grades. And I said, watch it turn around. And let me tell you, I think God was like, so you're going to preach to them. and <laughs> You're not going to preach to yourself. You're not going to do it yourself. So I, I was just so discouraged. And I was like, I got things to do as far as my channel go. And I just was feeling down about it. But then I just thought about the conversation I had with my kids on the way to, you know, so this is the perfect day to do my spread. I'm actually behind. But I do believe everything happens for a reason. I wanted to do it yesterday, but I was playing catch up. So today, I mean, it's just amazing to me. So, you know, I'm going to do my own praising and because it could be worse. So I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get my son from camp because of the way the car was acting. So I just asked the Lord to just let me get my son from camp so he wouldn't have to walk, even though it's about a seven minute drive, I'd say, five to seven minute drive. But it is. Um, it would be a longer walk, of course, probably about an hour or so. So, I said, let me just get my praise on. Let me just, don't let one monkey stop a show. Let me just, make sure y'all can see. Let me just live by the words I'm giving my kids. So, I still have to pick my daughter up this evening from work. And, um, I'm thinking, y'all, because... I've been noticing, um, I'm, I'm going to get back on subject, <laughs> but we're doing Fear for the month of July, thanks to Miss Anika over at Anika's Creative Plans, and sometimes there's just a verse, so I may not need a lot of space, so I can take this, and I'm thinking I don't need a lot of space, so I can just kind of layer and then maybe do something else on that side so I'll see I'm gonna make it look like little steps I think I just kind of create on the fly I don't have no purpose so yeah so I think it just may be a little test for me just to um, you know practice what I preach and because so many times I have family members and friends who um, get discouraged in the midst of a storm and I always tell them like you got to be thankful during a storm like don't complain you know and so of course I tried to sit there and say well dang if I wasn't hold on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday um, if I wasn't ripping and running kids around no 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 my kids need me and this is you know part of being a parent so it ain't that. I just got to thank God. I just got to thank him because it could be worse. I wouldn't be able to pick up my son, you know, so we just got to give him a little praise and I don't know. And then, um, y'all, I don't know if I've told y'all before, but I've had cars repossessed before and all that jazz. And when I, like I said, when I got this car, it was such a miracle because I've had repossessions on my, um, credit and when the credit score I looked at that they said I had when I got my truck I said I don't know whose credit score that is but it ain't mine <laughs> but um I say all that to say um you know we just can't get down I just gotta be thankful because it just could be worse and I don't know what's wrong with the car to be honest with you all I'm not going to even really worry about it because you know I have to practice 
what I preach. You know, I got to practice what I preach. I'm going to whip out this guitar. <laughs> this guitar don't go with nothing. I'm going to whip out this guitar. Let's play some church music. And, um, yeah, so it just is what it is. And we just can't. We're going to let this be music. So, yeah, so I'm just, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm going to try to just keep on going because, like I said, you know, you can't, we, can, we have to something that I'm learning that I always try to teach my kids the um, things in life. I really try to give them um, words of wisdom and how can I do that? If I'm not following my own advice. You know what I mean? So, this says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Perfect. So, we'll put that over here. And then I'm going to put, like, maybe a notes section. I want to take some notes because this is a really good, um, a really, really, really good... subject to be looking up scriptures on. I kind of want to do some um, what is it? Ink. Um, this says let go and let God it says steadfast. Let's put that down. And then sometimes I come back. And I, you know, add things after reading something. If it's good, you know. But yeah, so just going to pick up my bootstraps. Pray is nothing major, you know. And I have got to get back to my, um. budgeting because like by now I should have had more money saved and I wouldn't stress so this is how it's come out I think I'm gonna put a box over here for notes matter of fact do this I'm just gonna write notes So, yeah, so it was just perfect for me to just come on here and do this. Um, like I said, I'm a little discouraged, but I'm just going <clears> to <throat> keep the faith. I'm just not even going to stress about it. You know, we do have more than one car, but they are my husband's cars. I have an extra one, but it doesn't really work. It's probably in worse condition than what I've got going on now. So, you know, it's all to the good. Let me... Um, I've been using this really beautiful pen, and I ordered some pens similar to this from AliExpress. Um, just go into gel pens. They're very, very similar. Now, I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, if they're going to be the same type of quality. I will find out when I get it. And I need to put, I got some gold. Where did I see those dates? I think that's in my journaling here. And it's the 8th through the 14th. So let's start with these. These look really nice and it seemed like they would go. Just a little bit, and this is what the spread is looking like, and I love it. 
if you don't know, green is one of my favorite, favorite colors. I'm just drawn to it naturally. I don't know. Um, I originally started liking green because I like the color of money. I like money, <laughs> period. But it has just, my eyes just always drawn to it, no matter the color of the green. So this is it. Um, I put this little guitar here, I guess that's what it is, guitar it is, <laughs> to um, basically just like remind me of music, you know, and I wanted to be kind of music themed since we were talking about me and the kids listening to some church music on our way out this morning, so this is what it looks like. I'm saving this over here, I was going to write in notes, but it could still be notes, but um, maybe Sunday, if I go to church, I could do sermon notes here, so I may later come back in and write notes, I'm not sure or put in some little um, lettering of notes. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this faith uh, spread with me. Also, while I got you, let me put in what's... So for the eighth, there is Proverbs 1-7. I think I'm going to do it beside it. For the ninth, it is Proverbs 9.10, chapter 9, verse 10. And then for the tenth, is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, am I saying it right? I'll put D-E-U-T. And Deuteronomy, yeah, Deuteronomy. 31, chapter 31, verse 6. And then on the eleventh is Psalms... 23, chapter 23, verse 4. And for Friday the 12th, there's Matthew. Uh, chapter 6, verse 34. And then on Sunday, 13th is Psalms 118. Wait a minute, that's Saturday, yeah. 118, chapter 4 through 6. And then on the 14th is Psalms 34, 9. This month's uh, focus on fear has truly, truly blessed me. Um, I'm going to definitely get this done today. It's Monday, so I'm going to definitely do... My scripture for today and I hope this blesses someone else um if you're not following along I'll try to again remember to put Anika's video below in the description box so that you can check it out and you can follow along with us as well we'd love to have you again thank you all for stopping by um again I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove if you're new to my channel I would love for you to stay a while and we'd love to welcome you to the Cove so hit that subscription um button also hit that notification bell and don't forget to share it with your friends and leave me a comment in the comment section. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.